Hello, my name is Aaron Hesse, and I am from Cohort 16, and I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on Animation Tree and using it to create custom animations in the real tournament. Uh, first, we're going to open up our UPK file in the content browser of the Unreal Editor. So we're just going to click that button there and select our animation uh, UPK file. And this animation UPK file should uh, have all the animations and the skeletal meshes in it already. You can actually import them uh, to the UPK file, but this tutorial will not do that. So now we're going to create the anim tree itself. So you're going to want to right click on the content browser and then go new anim tree. You can name the anim tree whatever you like, uh, but just um, make sure that the package uh, is the actual file name that you imported and the uh, factory is anim tree. So I'm going to name this anim tree test, then click OK. So now we have the anim tree root node here, uh, and this basically just contains a bunch of information about the anim tree struct or, uh, itself. So uh, part of that information is the skeletal meshes and the animations themselves. Uh, for this tutorial, we only have one skeletal mesh and three animations, so I'm going to add the skeletal mesh by clicking the green plus button here, and then expanding the zero. And to be able to select the mesh, we're going to have to go back into our content browser, click on the mesh we want to use, and then go back into anim tree, and then click on this left green arrow here that says use selected object in content browser. And you can actually see we have our skeletal mesh uh, being used now in Atom Tree. You can scroll this guy around. Uh, and now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but for animations themselves. So I'm going to click that green arrow, or green plus sign. And then I'm going to add three anim sets to this anim tree. Uh, because I have a, an idle, a walk, and a strafe. So I'm going to select my idle click on the use selected object in content browser and then same goes for my walking my sidewalk and walking so now that we have our animations on skeletal mesh in the anim tree editor we're going to actually want to create nodes based on the context of the model so we're going to want to right click on the editor here go to new animation node our first one will be blend by idle. And that basically tells UT to blend the animation um, based on whether it's moving or not, which is idling or moving. So now we're going to create another animation node, which is blend by physics. And as you see here, there's a bunch of different physics states. We're actually only going to use one for this tutorial, uh, walking, but there are a bunch of other uh, physics states as well that you can use. Then one final new animation node, and that is blend directional, which is going to blend the animation based on the direction that the model is walking. So now we're going to connect each one of these nodes together, uh, left or right. So the first one will be blend by idle because it's the most basic. You're either moving or idling. And then we're going to connect the moving to the physics state and then the walking state to the directional state. As you notice, there aren't any animations in this anim tree yet, so we have to actually create new animation sequences. So right-click, new animation sequence, and then click on the anim node sequence. So we'll add the idle animation sequence right here, and then do the same thing. I'm going to add four more animation sequences but for our directional node. And to move individual nodes, as you see here, I'm just uh, holding down control and then moving the nodes. So I'm connecting each one of these directional uh, contexts with the in individual animation sequences. And now I'm actually going to select the animations that are to be used. So click on a single node, and then go to Preview Anim Set, and then choose which animation you would like to use. Uh, so I'm going to use idle for the idle animation. That makes sense. Uh, if you notice, the guy changed over here. 
now I'm going to do my forward walk, which are oddly enough the same thing, but normally they wouldn't be. And then sidewalk, which is a strafe. So now I'm going to actually start playing each one of these animations. So I just control click all of them and click playing and looping. And as you can see here, the bar actually is starting to move left or right. That's the sequence of animations. So now, uh, to control that though, it is done by each one these little bars down here. So right now, this one is set to idle, zero, zero. So I'm going to just scroll this guy over to the right, and now he's moving. But there isn't an animation being played because this one is still set to physics none which there is no animation for. So we're going to scroll this guy over to walking. And now our guy is walking. Just walking forward though because he's at zero degrees. So if I scroll the direction over to the right, it'll start blending between the walking forward and strafing. So the animation can be... So if you think about a person walking and strafing at the same time, it will be blended, as you can see here. I can make it completely strafed, pretty much, by just making it 90 degrees. But uh, you can just mess with this, see each individual animation, if you like. And that's pretty much it as far as um, defining the nodes for this particular tutorial. It's pretty simple. There are a ton of different animation nodes that you can check out. Uh, you can experiment with them yourself, or you can just look them up on the uh, EDK site. And that pretty much concludes my tutorial on Animation Tree. Thank you.